what's up B Operation iDroid here and in this video I'll be showing you how to get Pokemon ROM hacks on your iOS device. However, if you would like to get these amazing games on your Android device, follow the links in the description for a tutorial on that. This has been extremely, highly, extravagantly, some more adjectives to get my point that this has been requested far too much due to the fact that they are no longer available on CoolRom.com. And for those that don't know, Pokemon ROM hacks are fan-made using official Pokemon games as the backbone while creating elaborate new storylines, regions, and much more. If you've never played a ROM hack, I highly recommend you give one a shot as they can be extremely entertaining. With that being said, we'll be using GBA for iOS, a Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Emulator available to iOS 7 and up, created by Riley Testa to play these games. So, without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, as I mentioned, you will need GBA for iOS and you can easily get it if you do not have it by following along what I'm doing on the screen now. If you already have GBA for iOS, you can skip ahead. However, the method I'm currently showing you on screen only works on iOS 8.0.2 and below as it requires the date trick that was recently patched in iOS 8.1 and above. Now, if you're not jailbroken and on iOS 8.1 and above, there's still a way to get GBA for iOS using the build store method. If you'd like to learn how to do that, there will be a link in the description below. However, if you are jailbroken on iOS 8.1 or above, you also have an alternative of downloading a free tweak called AppSync Unified that will allow you to download GBA for iOS from iEmulators without a problem. If you'd like to learn how to do that, there will also be a link in the description below. For now, if you're on iOS 8.1 and up and do not want to do any of the things I previously mentioned, please be patient and subscribe to be notified as soon as there is a free, working, non-jailbroken method of getting your favorite iOS emulators. Thanks, and now that we have GBA for iOS, we can learn how to get Pokemon ROM hacks. Getting Pokemon ROM hacks is very simple. All you have to do is open your Operation iDroid icon, which I guess most of you don't have because this is fairly new, and you can get it by clicking the square with the arrow on it, select Add to Home Screen, and then Add. I'm going to click Cancel since I already have it, but yes, I now have my own website that has a ton of information on my YouTube channel, my social medias, but specifically, has ROM hacks that a lot of you guys have been asking for and are absent from CoolRom.com. As you can see, I have a pretty decent selection of GBA ROM hacks and GBC ROM hacks with NDS ROM hacks coming in the future and even more ROM hacks from every platform coming soon. If you have any suggestions for ROM hacks that are not pictured on this site now that you'd like to see in the future, definitely let me know in the comments section below. But for now, you can download GBA ROM hacks or GBC ROM hacks by simply clicking on them and you'll find a ton of information on them and you can download them by simply clicking download. It's that simple and your download will begin in the background. It may seem like nothing's happening, but please be patient and just wait until your screen changes. These downloads may take some time. As you can see, this is a 16 megabyte file and it should only take around two to five minutes. But a 32 megabyte file will take longer. But as you can see, I patiently waited and now my download is done. And you can easily open it in GBA for iOS by selecting open in and then GBA for iOS. And it'll automatically open your GBA for iOS. And if you look for your game, it'll now be there. In my case, I got Pokemon Snakewood. And as you can see here, I now have Pokemon Snakewood to enjoy. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this video helpful, if you did, then please leave a like as it supports these tutorials immensely, as well as if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, I highly recommend you do so to be notified whenever I upload a video, because I upload iOS tutorials like this one every week. Anyways, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.